we sh you should all know very well from when you goof around in 2v2s. All right, so at the two o'clock, we do see the red Protoss player Druid's Patchu and his uh, companion is going to be Druid's Ducks in uh, purple colors playing Zerg. And right at the bottom we have Amanda GS for Mythology as the green Zerg and on the left hand side is the blue Terran or the turquoise Terran. We have Nathan. So P Proto Zerg versus Terran Zerg and it, it always comes down to oh oh we're getting clan chat actually. They usually talk on Skype or something, but yeah. Here we go. We got an idea. Stim timing. So it looks like Myth are gonna try stim timing. It looks like it, and uh, Amanda will try to complement the stim timing as best uh, as best as he can or she can. I don't know if it's a woman, but it is a woman's name. And I'm not sure how best they would do that. It's... How do you think that? She or oh no, I think it's a guy, but with a woman's name. Uh, how do you think he'll best support that with speedlings, or will, will he try and get some banelings out? Mm, I'd say both are viable, depending on uh, what composition and what they see their opponents going for. I'd say you know if you get enough uh, of marines, I wouldn't really say you need banelings because the marines will kill stuff fast enough anyways with the stim. I'd say roaches or speedlings would be a better option. Oh yeah, roaches. Uh, because that extra tanking. Yeah. I, I when I was thinking of a stim push, I was just thinking marine marauder. But because you can get roaches, you often just need marines with the stim push, which is going to be really good. It means he can actually pull guys off gas as soon as he gets a hundred. Yeah. So we do have a we do have an economic opening though uh, by Druid's Dax. He wants to he wants to get expansion first and then he goes into pool. So most probably he will be relying on Pachu to keep him safe. But uh, you know relying on a Protoss to defend a Zerg expansion that's not a good call. Protosses just don't have enough units early game, <laughs> or, or or the tech to uh, be very stout defenders. Uh, so the tech lab is on the way. Second barracks being built uh, for Nathan. Ooh, and um, are they going to try and hide a pylon in uh, Amanda's base? Because there's our probe. He's hiding right there. They can't see him. I think he might try and hide a pylon, but they know. That's they've true. scouted. They know that the Zerg is going for an aggressive build. The Terran has got his gas, so he's probably going for an aggressive build. So it comes down to, are they going to counter this? Or well, are they going to hide that pylon and then you try can, and You backstab? can counter this with aggression, of course, and what better way to be aggressive than by having a pylon inside your uh, opponent's main base. Um, and while while your enemies are pushing, you just cripple their economy as much as you can. Question is, will it win you the war? Uh, we have a robo and a second gate coming out for uh, Pachu. Uh, speed being researched by both the Zergs, very uh, closely timed. And the economy, though, is looking a lot better for Dax because, you know... Um... Oh, by the way, that probe got got found and yeah, killed. Yeah, he didn't... So. He, ra he ran it into scout rather than seeing. He saw that there was speed going down. Didn't see that there was a baneling nest on the way, so it does look like it's going to be speedling baneling with Marine Marauder stim push. Hmm. And this is going to be pretty hard to hold, because Protoss isn't going to have Splash. The Zerg needs to get a Baning Nest up of some kind to try and help deal with this. And then it's all down to Micro. Yeah, exactly. I mean, with the Robo, I mean, Immortals are possible, but notice it is going to be uh, an Observer first. <laughs> Bring S three SCVs or something. Go, go, go. Okay, Stim is nearing completion. Uh, they will have crossed the map by the time the stim is completed. So, and you know, once they establish a foothold, they can start morphing those banelings. Um, and th that's a really good strategy. Being aggressive on this map really pays off because uh, your opponent, or or neither you, for that matter, uh, have joint bases. You are not even on the same piece of terrain, even if those bases were divided. So you can just put a wedge in between uh, in between your opponents and just attack one while staving off the other. Yeah, um, especially also, since there's no Terrans as well. Because yeah. I mean, if there's a Terran, you can siege up and cover yeah, this just, choke point. Yeah, and then it this whole a bit choke point just with tanks. 
But Zerg has no siege units. Protoss has no siege units. How they they can't really hold this. No Baneling nest. So literally, they can just swarm in with Banelings and Stim Marine Marauder with a couple of SCVs to tank. And oh there my we go. goodness. Zergling's oh going down. my goodness. And what the Protoss has are only sentries. Nice hits on the Banelings, large target firing rather. Beautiful force goals there, preventing the army from getting up into the main. But there's just too many links. The Protoss forced to recall out of there and there's still army alive. Dax's base will go down and his main is in peril as well. Uh, these units, I like how Nathan is conservative with his uh, stim. He's not stimming too much. He's uh, saving the stim up as to not lose very many health from the units. And, uh, you know, those links, they're going to just surround the Immortals and the Stalkers. The Marines will target fire everything down. And not to mention, we still do have a couple of Marauders here causing havoc. Yeah, and I mean, these Zerglings can clean up the rest of this. Even if the Marines die, but they won't. And they've done enough damage that they can actually lose all of this and just go home. Yeah. But they're not. The push continues to come. And it looks like Mythology have taken this game with a very good timing push. Oh my god, oh my goodness, Amanda even bringing drones to build spine crawlers, maybe? What? Is that a... <laughs> oh, that was a misclick, okay. Yeah, he's sending them back. <laughs> he's got the I'm money. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> I think, yeah, maybe he has... I mean, he, he, he could build a uh, hatchery below uh, the Prudas main, but yeah, there's the GG well played. And yep. uh, Mythology takes this up a notch to 2-1.